This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, hi! You're probably wondering what I'm doing. I just finished an imagination break. What's an imagination break? Well, it's kind of a break my mom sends me on when I've had enough of my brother. You see, I've been stuck in the house with him for the last 14 days. Normally we get along okay, but today he's driving me up the wall. Why couldn't I get stuck with my friend Gabriel or Addie? So my mom thought it was best that I go on an imagination break. I went to my room and opened my Bible to Acts 16, 16, and all of a sudden, my room went from being a normal room to Roman town in the Bible days. I saw two men, Paul and Silas, walking, which didn't seem like a big deal, until I noticed the person behind them. There was this lady following them. Although she didn't seem like a normal lady, she kept following them and yelling, These men serve the Lord God Most High, and they're going to tell you how to be saved. Anyone who saw these two men got strange looks from everyone as they passed by. This is crazy thing, is that this went on for a few days. Can you imagine the headache they must have had? Finally, they stopped, and Paul looked at that lady and said, In the name of Jesus, come out! All of a sudden, she stopped yelling and thanked them and ran off. Come to find out, she had an evil spirit in her, keeping her from living for God. The end. Just kidding. I wish it was the end, but no. The lady was a slave, and the guys that owned her were mad at Paul and Silas. See, she made them a lot of money by telling people the futures. You know, stuff like who you're going to marry. They were so mad that they called the police. They told the police that Paul and Silas were getting everyone upset and doing bad things. So they beat them with sticks and had thrown them in jail. They put Paul and Silas in the innermost cell and chained their feet up. The jail was a horrible place. It was cold and dark. And all the prisoners were angry and sad at the same time, so no one said anything nice. About midnight, all the yelling stopped because someone was praying and singing. Then all of a sudden, an earthquake happened, and the chains came off the doors, and they were open. When the jailer woke up, he thought everyone escaped, until Paul and Silas shouted, We are all here! The jailer looked at them and said, How can I be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Pretty cool imagination break. If Paul and Silas can still praise God even after they were beaten and thrown in jail, I figure I can live with my brother and not get upset. Besides, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it.